And welcome back to Good Day Columbia. It's past Christmas, so that means plenty of people have received gifts they're using now. We talk about d devices, technologies, touch screens and everything, but some folks are finding out one problem with the cold winter. It's not working. Here to talk all about it, our tech expert, Stephen Miano, here to let us know. We're talking about cold weather. And of course, Stephen, we're going to start off with these. Yes, gloves. The gloves. They keep your fingers toasty. Absolutely. When it's cold outside. So, Steve, this is what we're talking about here. We have touchscreen phones and gloves, and it's being cold. Yeah, so give that a, give that a shot for any. It just um, it's not surf moving. the web, dial a phone. You can't really do it. I can't. At nope. all. See? Um, and the reason for that is, and you guys remember the old touchscreens, they were resistive touchscreens. Basically, you right. would press it, there would be a little film on top that would kind of tell yeah. you pushing it. And Well, that's great, especially if you're wearing mm -hmm. gloves. But it's it's not very accurate. These new touch screens, they're called yeah. capacitive touch screens. Capacitive. Capacitive. What no. they basically do, your finger has a little tiny electric charge on it. Okay. And so when you touch these capacitive screens, it displaces if the electronic field it's complicated. But a little set yeah. of sensors reads that and can tell where your finger is. Or multiple fingers. That's why multi touch screens are so popular now. The wow. problem is your gloves are not like capacitive. These. They don't, they're not conductive at all. Now there are gloves that can work they're, on cell phones yes. and our Ivory Hecker, our hand model this morning. Talk to us about that, Stephen. She is sporting a capacitive touchscreen <laughs> glove. <Yeah. laughs> Actually, these are really cool. Um, I brought the gloves and I also brought a, um, a capacitive pen, which I want to talk about too. But basically, mm -hmm. if you look at her fingertip, can you show us your fingertip? There's a little tiny dot there mm -hmm. and it's a capacitive fabric. Okay. Basically, it behaves the same way as your fingertip does. It carries a little bit of a charge to it so that when it touches the screen, it can actually say, hey. Check that. Yeah, yeah, it's moving. You see, it's moving like, that's so what I was trying to do. You can dial and do all that cool stuff. Mm -hmm. And what's cool about those gloves is they have both on the fingertip and the thumb. So, because oh. you know, pinch gestures are really popular now with the new yeah. Windows 8, uh, the Surface mm -hmm. stuff iPhone uses it, Android uses it, uh, right. so you, you really need both to, to do anything um, interactive, like with Google Maps, things right. like that. And, uh, one of the questions here, Stephen, when these different cell phone companies are making these cell phones, have they ever thought about, you know, making a cell phone that's conducive to any type of fabric, or not really? Um, they have, and, and one mm -hmm. of the problems with capacitive touch on mm -hmm. really big screens, like huge TVs, you want right. touch screens. Okay. Um, it's hard to maintain that that electric field, oh. so they they are working on some other technologies that use cameras to detect um, you know refraction of light off your fingertip and other stuff like that. Um, right now, capacitive touch mm -hmm. really is ruling the roost. That's what on what is on all the devices. It's it's pretty accurate. Okay. Um, so I don't think it's going to go anywhere anytime soon. Um, so mm. your best bet. And also, I brought this little pin by. I don't know if we can okay. see. Uh, there's a little looks like an eraser. And that actually is a capacitive substance as well that would allow you to hold it up right there in that camera for us, Stephen. You okay, can write on the screen with it, or um, I've seen a really cool uh, paintbrush mm -hmm. too. That if you see that Microsoft Surface commercial uh, where the little girl's painting, right? On the screen, yes, you can buy that thing for like twenty or thirty bucks. It's basically a capacitive mm. paintbrush. Wow. So there are some devices for that. But these gloves, man, I tell you, I got this as a Christmas present. Um, and I have been told by everybody that they're like, you need to, to sell these. These are awesome. These are the best thing in the world. And they really are. And, you know, in South Carolina, you need them for about a week. Yeah. But in the <laughs> rest of the country, right. yeah, you know, there's other parts of the country mm -hmm. where these really are kind of a, a must have yeah. kind of a thing. And so the final thing, Stephen, so what's the solution for cold winter smartphone devices or smart devices, period? Anything that's touchscreen. So basically these gloves that Ivory is using. They really, yeah, I've seen mm -hmm. other gloves that where you can like pull the fingertip off and do stuff mm -hmm. like that, but then you're freezing your little fingers. Right, so, exactly. Yeah, just these little capacitive gloves are, and, and some designers are starting to make these. So it's not, mm. you know, buy these cheap gloves. You can get nice leather gloves and, and downfilled and stuff like wow. that that just have these little capacitive dots on them. All right, of course, our tech expert, Stephen Miano, giving you everything that you need as, as it relates to technology for us. And a thank you to our Ivory Hacker over there, our hand model with those gloves. Fabulous. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> All right, everyone, stay with us. We'll be right back after, after this. <laughs> 